I'm out here today taking some pictures of the partial solar eclipse. I happen to be in an area that is at like 93% coverage. So I'm getting some good pictures. You can see I've got my camera set up over there in the distance, like right over here-ish on my tripod. So let's head over there now and uh, take a look and see what kind of images I am getting. Okay, I've put my a7S III, I set this up with a six stop ND filter so you can see how quickly this is going to get dark. Uh, I have it at 12,800 ISO, 1 60th of a second. I'm filming in 4K 30p and I am at F5. So that should do the trick. Uh, let me take some more pictures because we're at 315. We're 15 minutes away and we'll see how dark this actually gets. How we doing over here? I don't know how well you can see that it is darkening up here, but it is certainly darkening up quite a bit. Almost to the point where I don't need my sunglasses. Yeah, I don't need my sunglasses. Wow, okay. This is wild. Glad, uh, glad I decided to, to do this. So it's showing that I am still one stop overexposed. Previously, that was 1.7 stops overexposed. So it's dropped two thirds of an exposure in just a little over, um, maybe two minutes? No, no, closer to like seven or eight minutes. But it is getting chilly, wow. Something that doesn't come through. Uh, let's see here. Now I'm at negative, excuse me, I'm still plus 0.7. And that is down a full stop in about 12 minutes. So one thing that is um, interesting is you, you hear the animals starting to freak out a little bit. It's getting very quiet. They're just not um, not nearly as loud as they have been. When I first got here, they were chirping away, and now you hear just a few birds. And I think in the next 10 minutes or so, we're probably gonna hear even fewer birds. So, it's really interesting. And I can see it's definitely getting darker. Although it is the A7S III and it does see in the dark, so. And I have it at 12,800 ISO, but all the other settings are fixed. F5, 1 60th of a second. see it is now at zero exposure so it has dropped almost two stops I was at, originally started at 1.7 stops overexposed now I am at zero and it's gonna think it's gonna go down further from again you can't um, I can't des describe it how eerie it feels uh, it's, it's wild it's very cool and the other thing is it's gotten chilly like, I wish I had my jacket on, but I don't. It's in the car. Um, but we still got another five minutes to go until we have the maximum partial solar eclipse, which is about 97%. I'm still at, I'm hovering between negative 0.3 and zero. So it's probably right around two stops right now, difference between 15 minutes ago and now. And we'll know when it's over, when the exposure starts to tick up. All right, so now we are at negative 0.3, bouncing between negative 0.3 and negative 0.6 on the EV multimeter. So you can see how much darker it is. You can even see it on the screen. Interesting. Three 
331. We are basically at peak and we are down at negative 0.7 on the meter. So I think that's as dark as it's gonna get. So it's roughly just a little over two stops difference between when I started this video like, I don't know, 20 minutes ago and now. Okay, so now we're back at zero, which means that it is lightening up back up again. So we are past the peak. Now we're gonna be able to see, hopefully in the pictures I'm taking, you're gonna be able to see a different, um, you know, you'll see the moon on the other side of the sun. His neighbors were curious how my pictures were coming out. I mean, their cell phone pictures didn't come out all that good, which is, I took a picture of myself and they're terrible. As you would expect, because it's a cell phone. What's my exposure up to now? I'm at about, still flat, maybe hovering between zero and 0.3. to almost 0 0.7 point, or 1.0. We are quickly climbing back up again. So, it's three. All right, that's not bad. Okay, now we're at plus 1.3. Once I get back to 1.7, which is what I was at the beginning, then I'm gonna end the recording, but you can see definitely brightening up again. All right, we are at our 1.7 stops. So I'm gonna put my sunglasses back on because it's now bright again. So there you have it. There is the partial solar eclipse as seen from being here in New England. Uh, it was very cool. Uh, I. I can understand how people chase these things all over the place because it is quite a unique experience and it's something that you just can't replicate um, anywhere else. Like, I mean, I say anywhere else at any other time. Like it's just, it's impossible. So <laughs> it's something you gotta rely on uh, you know, mother nature to provide to you. So. Anyways, that's all I have. Uh, I hope this video was enjoyable. Probably droned on for way too long, but that's okay. Uh, it's just one of those videos. Anyways, if you, if you did enjoy content like this, make sure you smash the like button. Maybe hit subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And we will catch you in the next one. Take care.